Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSG81 and today I'm going to do a review for this latest Mayfax Harley Quinn from the Batman Hush version. Hey, so this figure actually looks pretty hot <laughs> from the box but as I look on it longer and longer, I do find something which pretty worrisome to me because she just looks like she have a very small head as compared to the big body <laughs> somehow it just looks weird so as we can see from the box design is using back the very uh, origin blue as for the batman if i'm not wrong so we have the very nice harley queen over here and at the side here we can see this harley queen's in a museum pose as this side which is looking pretty good and at the back is always my favorite part of the box because you can see all the poses from this harley queen as well as the additional heads that she comes with so Let's get her out. So this is Harley Quinn right out of the box and my fear came true. Yes, you can see that the head is actually smaller than the body. Somehow I just feel it that way. I'm not sure about you guys. But this is just one weird looking characters are oh, just the head really bothers me because I, I kind of feel that it's too small what do you think let me know down in the comment sections below do you think that the head is really small if only they make it like just tiny bit bigger then it will look okay but let's take a look at the body first oh sorry again i forgot okay so let's take a look at the paint job i think it's pretty well done over here and i read some comments that i think the goblin kid actually mentions that the red is not vibrant enough i think it looks pretty good though maybe under the lights it actually shines out but if you got any lights yeah it kind of looks a bit dull here but i think it's still <laughs> acceptable it's not that bad and the black is really nice as well and i really like the the way they really separate it out it looks very neat yeah there's no miss paint and you can see the red and black here and the black and the red here very nice even the hands have separate colors this is <laughs> really fun to look at and the boots is also different colors it's all very nicely done over here and even the mask as well yeah everything looks very nice and this piece here is a soft rubber kind of glad they actually do it that way so that it don't hinder any of the articulations yep looking pretty good and on her waist can see the wording there which is kind of turned off for me <laughs> i don't like wording or text on my action figure it just doesn't look nice on them but you can see the linings of the paint is very nicely done and she does have a good butt and let's take a look at the head i just hope that they don't do these two things like this i was just hoping they do it like straight down yeah i think it looks better that way this one just looks <laughs> kind of weird maybe it's just me yeah my preference and you can see the eyes lips are all painted very very nicely yes i still feel that the head is too small for this alone <laughs> yeah she doesn't look that well for me somehow oh my god and next we'll move on to the articulation i'll start out with the head so she can look to the right to the left no issues looking up pretty good looking down yes not too bad you can tilt her head if you want to her arms can go 360 degrees without any issues it's a butterfly joint but it's not very big movement and arm shivers double joint elbow you can shiver her hand move up and down two points of articulations you can shiver on her waist or just turn it around the same goes for the torso but be very careful not to scrap off any pains so she can bend forward wow pretty good bending backward is wow even better but there will be a slight gap over here any pull down mechanism on the leg yes just a tiny bit kicking forward wow this is really good kicking backward just slightly and there is no tight shivers unfortunately but you can still shivers at the inner joints a double joint knee but can you shivers on the boots uh nope but you can still move a few side to side up and down there are toe hinges as well so let's see how well she can do a split wow a perfect split there Okay, so this Harley Quinn articulation is not that bad, just that it's missing the tight shivers. 
And next we'll move on to the accessories. So I will start with the hand. So she just comes with a pair of relaxed hands that's already on the figure. A pair of closed fist hands. A pair of open palms hands. A pair of pointing hands. It's the last pair of hands for her to hold on to her weapon. She just comes with an interchangeable shoes with the spring on it. <laughs> and next we have her weapon which is the mallet. And it does have some weight over there which looks pretty good. And lastly, two more interchangeable heads for different expressions whereby this one is the smiling one and this one is the angry look. Okay, so that's basically what this Harley Quinn comes with. Yes, I know it's missing a gun. Nice tux. Hope it's not a rental. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> I really hope that uh, they do give us a gun which is why it's missing. Okay, so right up next, I'm going to show you how to put on some of the accessory onto her. Like always, I will start with her hands. So you just need to remove it gently like this. And just slot it in gently like this. And to change the shoe, it's the same thing. You just need to slot it out like this. And just slot it back in horizontally like this. As simple as that. Wow, this looks pretty good. So to let her hold on to the mallet, I would strongly suggest you to remove the hands first. And then you just need to slide it in like this very easily pop it back in yeah this way it will be much safer that you don't break the joint and to interchange the head you just need to pop it out and just pop it back in very easy wow she just looks good on this i also hope that they'll give a laughing head with her mouth open that will be pretty awesome and this will be another good hit that we have an angry Harley Quinn here. <laughs> Do click on the likes button if you are enjoying this video. Thank you. Okay, so for the size comparison, I will start off with some SH figures because I have this Harley Quinn which is from the movie itself and also this Harley Quinn from the Injustice game. And next, let's compare with some Marvel Legends I have this Mighty Thor over here, which is of course uh, much larger than her. As well as this Black Widow in this no suit. And next I'll compare with some Mayfax. Of course, I will compare with the Hush, which is the Batman. Yeah, I think he, she skilled pretty well with him. Yeah, I can see he's taller than her. As well as this Catwoman right over here, which looks like they are having the same skill. And of course, how can I miss comparing her with the Joker? Yes, wow. Okay, I do think that they are match made in heaven. Yeah, skill pretty good and looks pretty good together. And with this Joker, I would like to compare with this Mesco Joker as well. Wow, I do think that they all look very nice and matching together. Okay, so next we will talk about the skill for her. As you can see from the comparison just now, I think she skill pretty good. I mean, not too tall, not too short. As for with the rest of the characters from Hush, I think she skill just nice. Okay, so next I would like to talk about the price for her. So she is slightly cheaper than her and slightly cheaper than him and more expensive than her and of course she's even more expensive than Mr. Joker himself wow so I do think that this is <laughs> something like a price increase for all the main facts so simple figure like this used to be 7000 range I'm talking about yen but nowadays even a simple figure like this costs around 8000 range yen wow so it's about a thousand yen increase which may be nothing if you convert it to usd but it's still a price increase so she's not that cheap in that sense okay so my final verdict for this harley queen based on all the star ratings so far is going to be a 7.5 out of 10 yes aesthetically she looks good especially on the pain itself but somehow i just find that proportionally she looks weird especially for the head it's kind of small <laughs> as for the articulation it's pretty decent as for the accessory as we all know it ah they are just lacking the gun or maybe some additional head like i say i want an open mouth uh laughing head as for the skill yeah i think she's pretty good in terms of that but for the price she's not exactly a cheap one so if you guys were to ask me yes i do recommend her if you do have mr j to go along with because i think they are both 
match made in heaven as you can see it looks very good together but if you doesn't have this guy or you maybe you have other mr j uh yeah maybe you can still get her because i think she's one of the very few uh that we have in this costume maybe dc icon has made some if i'm not wrong so this is a very iconic look at least for the harsh batman but if you're not a big fan of harley and you're just wanting to have a mr j to go along with batman yeah i do think that you can actually pass her up because like i say she's not exactly cheap so my final recommendation is yes you can get her if you do have additional uh, money to spend but if you're not really a big fan of harley queen i think you can actually skip this one but i do hope that you enjoy my review and i certainly hope that it helps you to decide if you should get this mayfax harley queen from hush batman and i'll catch you again in my next video click on this video now if you don't want to taste my mallet